Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, uh, today is uh, November 1st, 2023, and our yes, episode okay. number 33 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Uh, we're broadcasting live, smack dab, from smack dab in the middle of Jacobs Meat Market in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Luke Jacobs, I am third generation owner of Jacobs Meat Market and the mayor of Wheatville, and I'm hosting the show today with my right hand is man, uh, the chopper of chops, Nathan, because Eric uh, had the nerve to go on vacation for the next couple of weeks. So Nathan, thank you very much for having me. Of course. Thanks a lot for uh, for coming and stepping into the show. Um, Pleasure to be here. All right. So in this uh, in this episode uh, today, we will cover uh, the weekly specials, holiday poultry, um, ordering and uh, availability, um, special upcoming days, a winner of last time last week's contest and a new contest for this week. Uh, so let's dive right in. Uh, for anyone who may know, where are we located at? We are located at 534 North Ball Street in Appleton, uh, right in between uh, Lawrence University and the corner of Long Pacific. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, just a reminder for the news this week, um, uh, Daylight Savings Time ends this Sunday, November 5th. So Saturday night, uh, Sunday morning, I think it's at like one or two in the morning, uh, we fall back, so you uh, set your clocks back one hour. Uh, no worries if you forget to make this change, though, you'll simply be an hour early for anything that you're going to. Um, so I, until you catch up, of course. Yeah. Um, also, this week is uh, Appleton Xavier and Appleton North made it to the state girls volleyball tournament. Um, so good luck to them on Friday. Yeah, um, I think Xavier plays at 2, and I think North plays at 7.30. So uh, good luck to all the girls. Um, who are participating in the state volleyball tournament. Do you have any news this week? I don't. No? You're off on Saturday? Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, I mean, probably sales are probably going down. Yeah. Well, Nate, yeah. yeah. Nate, Nate's not here. Sales are probably going so down. Make sure you all get in here Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, for jokes this week, uh, I printed them off, but apparently I didn't uh, bring them along with me. Um, I got one for you. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. All right. So why doesn't the skeleton like church music? Church music? I'm not sure. It doesn't have any organs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I do remember what. Okay. What is a vampire's favorite ship? Ooh, I'm not sure. A blood vessel. Oh. Of course. Oh, of course. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Um, speaking of jokes, uh, if you like the jokes, even if you don't like the jokes, um, you are like our weekly specials, uh, consider joining our mailing list. Do you know how they get our mailing list? I believe you can sign up through our email on our website. Yep. Get for the email. Yep. Yep. Uh, so right on the right side of our uh, website, jacobsmeatmarket.com, on every page on the right hand side, there is a uh, there's a little text box that you can just enter your email address and put submit. And uh, we give out uh, two weekly emails. We give out one on Sunday for our uh, weekly lunch menu, as well as our Monday Tuesday specials. And our second one is on Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m. sharp. Um, it is uh, for our weekly specials. So if you don't want to watch this, if you would rather just read them and uh, get rid of the static in your life, uh, <laughs> you can certainly do that. All right. Uh, so let's go over the weekly specials, Nate. Um, this is your first one. Why don't you tell? What you tell us what we have? Uh, we have stuffed by myself, boneless stuffed pork chops for two ninety nine. Yes, yes, uh, those are delicious. What's the stuffing of? That's what's going to be a bread stuffing with onion and sage. Oh, delicious! Yes, it's very good. We sell a lot of the bone-in ones. Uh, we put the boneless ones on sale uh, to just kind of pre sale and let people know. Uh, some people don't like the bones, some right. people prefer not to have the bone, not to have the waste, and everything like that. So that's why we've got the boneless ones on sale. Yeah, and of course, obviously, our space in the case is very limited, so we can't hear right. all products all the time. So we like to switch it up here and there to let people know that we still do that. And then we sure. How many do you feel stuff this week? Ooh, I mean, just stuff this morning. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Okay. Uh, probably last. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. We've got a good couple. I'd say hundred. Okay. All right. We better. Uh, we better get through this podcast so you can get back to this stuff and some more. Right. It is trademark. I don't know if they noticed on the on our website. It is trademark. Stuff by Nate. I did realize. So that. I mean, I don't. It's a I don't, pretty I don't, big feat to get yeah. a TM. I would say. 
I would say. And uh, next is also a product that you make, uh, bacon wrapped London broils. Can you tell us what the London broils are? Yeah, so it's going to be a flank steak that's going to be trimmed up, run through a tenderizer multiple times. Um, you get it nice and you know really tender. And I'm going to roll that up, wrap it with bacon, and then slice it into steak style chunks. Nice. And you can grill it up, fry it, pan fry it, boil it. Very versatile steak to cook with. And Sure. Very delicious. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at how popular they are. Uh, and, and I think that we feel, you know, behind the counter, we feel that they're the most popular when we don't have any stock. You know, because then <laughs> yes. people ask them, where are the Wonder Royals? Where are the Wonder Royals? Uh, they are really, really popular steak. Probably not as popular as like a tenderloin or a ribeye, but they are super, super popular. Right. It's I assume you're talking to the price comparison point. Right. It's almost half the price of a ribeye would be to be sure. Like, for sure. Yes, definitely. Um, next is our uh, Jacob's Own Smoked Braunschweiger for five forty nine a pound, um, and after that is our fresh boneless and skinless chicken thighs for three forty nine a pound. Um, we always carry the boneless and skinless chicken thighs there in the back. Um, uh, a lot of customers know that we have them in the back, but we like to just put them on sale just to kind of feature them once in a while and let people know we have them. Uh, for customers that maybe not you know don't know about them or are regulars or anything. Yeah, yeah so that's maybe not seen in the case all the time. Right, right. Uh, so we always carry them because we make our chicken products from them, like chicken brats, our chicken mild Italian sausage, chicken pita brats, all of, all of those um, chicken products we make are for the chicken products. So uh, next is a uh, frozen baby beef liver for three forty nine a pound. Do you like liver? I can't like say I do. No, no. Okay. No. Uh, a little too irony for me. Yeah, I taste. But do your, do your parents like it? Did you grow up with it? I did not. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. I can remember vaguely my grandmother making it. So okay. Like there. You can smell it, but I never right. forced to eat it. I think I was got a hot dog or something. Oh, Maybe for sure. Bad, but... Let's hear what we're <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't really describe the, the sky is the, the smell of liver. You know, you walk in the door and you know that they're going to deliver. Uh, a lot of our customers really, really like beef liver, but it's not a favorite of mine. Uh, and obviously not yours either. Yeah, so, and it's a quarter taste. For sure, for sure. All right, next, uh, can you tell us what we got next on our, on our special uh, yes. list? Yes, next we have delicious extra meaty baby back ribs for just three ninety nine dollars a pound. Yes, can you tell us a little bit about those? Uh, yeah, so they're going to be about 14 rib racks. Uh, they weigh about three, three and a half pounds. Uh, they're going to be very extra meaty compared to what we have before. Um, I just opened up a taste of them now and um, they look fantastic. Yes, definitely. Um, some stores you go to, you know, you can go to the, the bigger chain store, grocery stores, and stuff like that. And they, I don't know if you've looked at it or not, but they they are more bone than meat. Right. Um, and, and so we get the extra meaty ones because when you go through the process of smoking beef ribs or cooking beef ribs or whatever, you want you don't want to have to smoke fourteen ribs to feed your family of six. Right. You know, you 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 want to be able to um, smoke or cook, go through the process one time and just be done with it. You know, so you don't have to smoke all of these ribs all the time. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's why we love the extra meaty ones here. Um, as you said, they're about three to three and a half pounds per rack. Um, they're, they're delicious. One rack typically feeds two to three people. I would say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, you like baby backs? I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to have the membrane from Mr. Ready? Right, for sure. Being it right, ready to go. For sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we go through those extra extra little uh, steps for you so that you don't have to do that when you get home. Um, I don't know if you've had this experience, but customers come in after they have purchased them and they come back and they're like, man, I really had a hard time taking the membrane off. And we're like, well, yeah, it wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard to take off something that's already gone. Yes. So. All right. All right. So those are our uh, weekly specials for the week. Um, so we will move right along to the holiday poultry. How long have you been here, Nate? Uh, going on four years in January. Four years? Okay. So you've been through four Christmases, four, Christmases, four Thanksgivings, four Easter's. Easter's. Yes. 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 So you know how the process works as far as the turkeys, the turkey breast. So our, our, our holiday poultry offerings this year are the fresh all-natural turkeys, uh, turkey breasts, roasting chickens, geese, uh, capons, and ducks. Um, so can you let the customers know kind of how we receive these, the birds, and, and how they stay fresh for so long? Sure. Yeah, so we get them out of uh, the, an Amish farm in Iowa. Uh, and we have probably, I'd say, just over 700 birds pre-ordered already. So quite a lot of birds coming in. Um, so when you talk about having to slaughter those animals, um, clean them up, 
get them into packaging. They're going to put them through what they call a chiller. Uh, it's going to put a little chill on the outside to help maintain the freshness when it goes through packaging and shipping. So when we receive it, it's going to be one of the freshest qualities that we can have. Right, for sure. I mean, 700 birds, you you talk about like a kind of a small store here, you know, Definitely going through 700, 700 birds. I mean, you, you, you kind of go through in your mind, how does that process work from the the facility that we get them from to our middleman to to us, you know that's that's uh, that's that's quite impressive for a small store like this yes, here. So um, and it's 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 grown and grown and grown over the years. Um, I think people notice the quality that they're getting versus like a butterball or, or a sixty nine cent a pound turkey or something like that. So um, you know our our numbers have grown and grown and grown. I'm sure you probably see more or less. Yeah, yes, yeah. 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 So. I mean, it's more work for it's more work for us, and it's more everything. But I mean, you see the customer and how efficient they are, and how how like they know the quality that they're giving and the, the quality that they're putting. They have their family coming over, and, you know, from out of state or out of, out of the country or anything like that. So, I mean, they want to put a quality bird on the table, and right? they want to make sure that they're they're getting. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So and I have to say, if you have not tried a fresh turkey. They are definitely way better. Yes, definitely. It's, it's, yeah. and, they, and they're they're all natural. There's no hormones. There's no antibiotics. There's no solution injected into it or anything like that. It's 100 percent free. So so we really pride ourselves on that. Um, so again, we have uh, the fresh all natural turkeys, uh, turkey breast. Um, we have uh, three to seven pounders. We have six to eight pounders. We have um, eight to ten and ten to twelve pound turkey breasts. Uh, that we are taking uh, orders for, as well as roasting chickens, geese, capons, and ducks. So um, if you'd like to uh, reserve yours today, uh, you can call 920-733-1031. Uh, if you prefer email, you can uh, send your order to info at Um Or you can come on down. Uh, we're, we're obviously taking orders right here in the store. Um, you can... You can uh, reserve your turkey or ham or any poultry items um, up at the cash register, or you can uh, go back to the meat counter. We prefer back by the meat counter just right. so that it alleviates some of the stuff on the front. But, uh, but you can certainly do it either either place. I had noticed here too, uh, there's no turkey duck in the list. Is yeah. That something we're unable to get again this year? Yeah, we can't get it this year. Um, this it's I don't know what it is, production or what exactly it is, but uh, I mean, we, we initially had like a 15 pound. Turducken years ago. I don't know if you were here for that when we had that. And then they had uh, the Turducken Colt, which was, I think, five or six pounds or something like that. Yeah. And then now it's just kind of this big, so it's like big, smaller, base um, yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah, so, I'm sure, so. right. So we, we can uh, own out a turkey, duck, and a chicken if you'd like to make your own, sure. um, if you have your own recipe for uh, the stuffing, certain stuffing, or that. So we can certainly do that for you if you want to make your own, yeah. but we don't carry the production yeah. Okay. So thanks for noticing that. Yeah. I, I, I forgot about that. I just I'm sure there's going to be somebody morning. asking. So yeah, yeah, right. We, right. Call we call actually just got a call. <laughs> just got a call this morning. Sure. So. All right. Uh, anything else on the holiday birds or orders or anything like that? Um, how long because? do they have to place an order until? Oh, oh uh, thank you for bringing that up. Uh, the Wednesday before. Okay. So, so that would be the 15th. Yes. Uh, is the last day that we are taking orders. Uh, there, people are saying, you know, well, why, why do you stop taking orders? Why do you? Why can't you take my order? Uh, and we say, well, because we have so many birds coming in, we have so much reserve, so we don't know exactly, you know, like. Is, is Jim Smith not going to pick his bird up, or you know, are we going to have extras or not that extra? So um, we just kind of don't want you to show up for a bird. And it's like we don't get happy. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, so thank you very much for yes. that. <laughs> See, this is why you're here. That's, That's right. This is why I can't get this show <laughs> without you. Yes. All right. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's okay. That's all. Okay. Full two orders. Um, all right. Perfect. Um, so on the special days, um, today, so much is happening today, according to the <laughs> script here. Uh, November 1st, it's uh, not just All Saints Day, um, it's the Day of the Dead. So, have you heard about the Day I of the Dead? I have heard of it, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, Hispanic people celebrate the Day of the Dead, I believe. Yes. Um, it's, it's uh, I think it's called All Souls Day as well. Okay. Um, so, we, we celebrate that as well. Uh, 
hour, just to kind of remember the, the people that have before us and, and just kind of keep them in. Oh, yep, definitely. Um, it's also National Cinnamon Day. Uh, lunch at Jacob's Meat Market today is French toast with hash browns and a cinnamon roll. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if you can smell that or not, but it's really yeah. good to make it. You know. <laughs> Um, this Sunday, November 5th, is National Donut Day. Did you know that? No. Cool. This Sunday, National Donut Day. Really? Yeah. Go down and get a dozen donuts and share them with everybody. Okay. Doesn't okay. Cover it. Okay, well, then get two. We came for some of the extra fatty ribs. Extra fatty ribs? You got uh, some of them? Uh, we're all out of the extra fatty ones. Oh. We just have the extra meaty ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so... So this Sunday, uh, November 5th, National Donut Day, um, use the extra hour you'll get on Sunday to just sit back, relax, and have a donut. There you go. Why not? Right? Hey, that sounds great. Right. Uh, and Tuesday, uh, November 7th, is Election Day, according to my phone. Uh, I don't know what, if there's anything being elected on. I uh, haven't seven, seen any signs. I, I mean, there's no, like, signs, I think, because it's not a, a presidential election oh. that's probably not. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which is really nice because I don't know if you watch TV lately, but um, the political app is really, really, really nice. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, so, out of the contest, last week's contest was uh, uh, the the prize was uh, cookies and cream supreme dip and a cheesecake supreme dip, uh, along with cinnamon honey pretzel grams. Um, the uh, the entries, the the question was uh, about your vacation. Where do you have a vacation? Where's your favorite vacation that you've ever gone to? Okay. Um, Chris said uh, the favorite vacation was to Athens, Greece. Oh, wow. And several islands. Have you ever been to Greece? I have not. Have you ever been outside the United States? I have once. Yes. Yeah. Where were you? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, cool. Well, how long was that? Oh, gosh. 15 years? Yeah. Yeah. So were you like four? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Lindale said, uh, behave on Halloween, uh, who does that? And, uh, Karen said, uh, favorite vacation destination was Maui, Road to Atlanta. Ooh, wow, that sounds like a pretty, pretty cool destination. She was also the one that went to, uh, Turks and Caicos. She's, she's, I think, the world traveler there. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. So, uh, thank you for the entries. Uh, for this week's contest, we will, uh, I think we'll do the contest, uh, the prize is, uh, a bag of leftover Halloween candy. Open or unopened? Uh, yes. 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 Oh, you will, you will we'll take, we'll find you will take, you will you take what, you, what you're given. Yes. Yes. You must All be right. off on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh, good, to you. Uh, good to see you too. Thank you. Um, I think to to enter the comments uh, the, to, to enter the contest this week, uh, we will uh, have you say your favorite Halloween candy. Um, either that you take from the bag that you're going to give away to your readers, okay, or that you take from your kids Ooh. or neighbors or friends and and okay. just kind of keep for yourself either when they go to sleep or right. just when they're not looking. Well, the Halloween tax, you know, right. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called. Yeah. Well, I parent, mean, yeah. After all these years, I've been wondering what to call it. It's the Halloween tag. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I like it. All right. I like it. Um, so just comment your uh, favorite Halloween candy um, in the comments below, and uh, um, and you'll be entered into the contest for the bag of leftover Halloween candy, which everybody loves. All right. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah, it's from this year, too. Just so okay. Yes. Yeah, it's not expired. Yeah. Not expired. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, do you want to read that, uh, that last one? Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be back again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. with another live broadcast. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can visit the store at the corner of Law Pacific and Apple. We are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, nice job. Nice, nice job. All right, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much.